mind for many of these drivers in the field tonight, at least seven of them, they are making their first ever appearance on an oval. Scott Dixon across the line first. Danica Patrick is second. And the 2008 season is underway, Mark James. Shot out of a cannon, goes to the high side in turn number one. He swings way wide around Ryan Briscoe. Meanwhile, Dixon leads Danica Patrick into turn three. Tony Kanaan scheduled to start eighth, moved up two slots to six after the penalty for Vision. The car sparking in the South Florida night. Boy, a beautiful sight through three and four. Scott Dixon, the leader. Danica Patrick is second. Tony Kanaan is third. Marco Andretti is fourth already in turn number one. Still no change among the front six, although the Pinsky team starting to bunch up just a little bit. Front of run side by side off of turn number four. Here comes Tony Canani, won three of the last five races in 2008. Mark James, he is pushing the button early. They'll stay together in the setup in turn number two. Dixon with a bit of an advantage toward the bottom. Meanwhile, a side by side battle breaks off in the exit of two. Marco looked like he was going to get Danica. And Davey, pretty much what we expected here is the field is pretty much broken into two halves. Race control, Brian Barnhart telling the 19 car, Mario Mora, I said it. They want to see some more pace from him as he is being split by the leaders on the front straight. And Tony Kanan, Mark James takes advantage of the pit car of Marias and he will go to the front. They have been side by side for the last three quarters of a lap. But yeah, use that lap traffic as a pitch in the 7-Eleven machine. He has a one car length advantage of three. Okay, so as we watch the leaders, Tony Kanan and Scott Dixon on pit lane, we also keep our eye on the vision racing machines. Marias is also in. In fact, it looks like just about everybody on pit lane. Let's go up front. Kevin Lee, you've got the leaders. Tony Kanan will hit his stall. Scott Dixon is right in front of him. Dan Weldon is the very front of pit row. He is now hitting his marks. Let's see who gets out first. Kanan is not going to be able to get ahead of Dixon. Scott Dixon beats Tony Kanan out to take the lead. Hideki Muto is just creeping down the pit road. He is at exit. He is just barely moving, not totally dead. But there's a huge problem with the number 27 car of Hideki Muto. Scott Dixon just went three wide. Mark James with traffic as he clears that traffic. And he's off of turn number two, still fighting him. Marco Andretti all over Scott Dixon, and they're battling it out with a 19 car of Mario Fores, a car well off the pace. They were able to clear him in turn number three, so a battle up front for the lead. Marco Andretti right now, Davey Hamilton, has a great race car. He had to clear Mark, uh, Mario Marias there, uh, but uh, that's what held him up momentarily because he was going after Scott Dixon in a big way, but it was a three wide battle there coming through one. Two car incident in turn number two as Milkaduno Davy Hamilton, the car spun, the Sitco machine spun and collected the six car of Ryan Briscoe. Yeah, Ryan had nowhere to go. She she lost control. The car took off up the racetrack. I mean, Ryan did a superb job, did everything possibly that he could do, which is move up as close as he can to the wall to get by her. Just caught the very back of this car and put it up. got a yellow flag and this could change everything so hold on as we've got a car rolling to a stop and we're going to have to wait and see it looks like it is the 33 of ej Vizo, who had run a pretty good fairly steady race up to this point and it looks like ej oh, Vizo and tony Kanan is hit. damaged mark james a damaged right or left front no right front damage for tony Kanan. mark james in the right way, that's for darn sure. It has been oh, at an oh, angle. Oh and uh, I was just about to mention that uh, how many times have we seen it where we thought someone had checked out over the last 15 laps and it was all but over and something strange happened. 
they're going to let Tony Kanaan remain on track or will they? We go to green flag racing. Tony Kanaan will pull to the inside. He'll let the leaders go. And with 197 laps complete, Scott Dixon, the New Zealander, will take the lead for James into two. Scott Dixon has a big advantage. Marco Andretti trying to go to the high side of AJ Point the court. However, Dixon got a lot of breathing room in the exit of turn number two. Mark James, we also had another car get very high. It's just coming out of turn number two. Didn't see which car that was. Tony Kanaan running well behind the field. He's at the midway point of the back straightaway. Meanwhile, the leader's in front of you. Number three, take him home by King. Marco Andretti trying to make up eight car lengths on this, the final turn of this uh, lap, the final lap. The games go all on insurance in the 300. Not going to do it. For the first time since 2003, Scott Dixon has won at Homestead Miami Speedway. And Mark James, a tough way for Tony Kanaan to lose this one. But Dixon had been strong all night long. Some tough luck for a couple of guys. Again, lap traffic got in Marco Andretti's way. It'll be interesting to hear what his thoughts are on that in the post-race interviews. Marco awfully strong, led 50-plus laps here. Okay, now we need to...